What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something really exciting. We finally got the fenders back and we're going to put them in the garage and start body working. But first, before we do anything, we got to get our cars pulled out. It is middle of winter in Ohio, but yet I'm still repping the Shelby. I got to pull my car out of the garage. That way it gives us some room to where we can start the body working process for these fenders. So let's get these cars pulled out, get these fenders pulled in and see what kind of mess we can get into for today. We got everything pulled out of the garage. We got the fenders laying up in here. These are the really nice ones that come all the way down and drop down the tire so it covers some of that and really tucks everything in. But this one is pretty good. There's a little scuffs all over just from kind of wear because these are used. But this one we're gonna have the work cut out for us. It looks like the central support down here took a little bit of a hit. So we gotta come in here and rebrace this fender up and also do a lot of the fiberglass kind of patchwork we did when we were on the W9 hood. There's a lot of bubbling a little bit throughout here, but overall these are gonna be some nice fenders. It's just gonna take our time and go through these and make sure that they're all right and filled in and sanded out nice. But hey, for the price you can't beat them. We didn't wanna spend you know $1,000 for a new set so we figured why not put a little bit of work in these use sets and get them looking just right so we can get them put on the truck. So we're going to go ahead get all of our supplies laid out. We got the Milwaukee rocket light over there helping us out. Also we got our, our dolly set here, our horses, we've got some of our other Milwaukee tools laid sporadically around here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the sandpaper, get everything laid out and start etching these fenders in. sanding here we're finding out that a lot of the chips and scuffs are actually on the inside of the fenders themselves so this is going to be the outside of the drive tires this is going to be the inside and luckily a lot of the damage is done on the inside which means that it doesn't have to be a hundred percent pretty in order to be on there it's just got to make sure that all this is stiff and back in place and the pretty side we got to worry about is the outsides of these fenders which Luckily are very clean and smooth, so it looks like we'll be able to get away with a higher grit sandpaper on these outside, but we for sure have to dig in and go down. I mean, I was using even 80 grit to dig down and get into the you know base layer of this and feather it out. So we're gonna try to use as little you know filler as we have to, but some of these we're definitely gonna have to use filler. And over here, we're gonna have to re-glass this chip that we came across, so we cut it out to be able to get a sturdy point. And then also down here, we're going to have to fill in down here and help rebrace this center section. But we'll go ahead and keep sanding and see what we discover. <laughs> finished sanding this whole fender down we got the two cracks we cut it out a little bit more with 80 so that way we can come in and lay a patch of fiberglass and then we're kind of reshape this side but this one's done we got to put the patch in and then we're going to start doing the other fender as well this is the inside so it doesn't really matter too much what it looks like just needs to hold yeah it just needs to hold but we'll be able to reshape it once we get that strand of fiberglass laid in the back side and then we'll come in and lay the front side of this with the kitty hair and then smooth it all out and yeah. I think it will come out nice.
all three of us, we finished sanding down these fenders. We made a mess. We all look like Smurfs with this blue paint. But what we're thinking we're going to do is we're going to pull all of our tools, put it back on the shelves, and then pull these fenders out, clean out the garage, and then clean off the fenders so that way everything is clean again. We'll pull them all back in here and then start the patchwork with the fiberglass. we got to run back to the house, grab a few things, also grab some dinner because it's getting late on us and we got to get some fuel in us to keep on going here. So let's do this and then uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later here. Alright, so we got everything cleaned up in the garage. We washed these down, cleaned up the floor, and Ryan's been cutting the fiberglass and that for us to go ahead and start uh, matting this thing back together down here. Got that crack right there, and then, and then we gotta one. fill a bunch of these little yeah, with Bondo. Then we got this, this one right here. I don't know if you guys remember, but on an earlier video, we did a similar repair job on the Kenworth hood. Uh, it was not fun. <clears throat> Nor did it smell good, but uh, it's what we have to do in order to make these fenders sturdy again. This is the weak one, so we're going to put a lot more fiberglass on the bottom end and then fill it with the uh, kitty hair in the top. But uh, let's go ahead and get the fiberglass poured out and get these strands put on. decided to lay down this first coat of Bondo. We also glassed in the sides right here and put kitty hair in the crack, both there and on this side. We put oh. that fiberglass mat behind to strengthen it. Oh yeah, we put a lot of mat behind there and a lot of resin. And so it needs a good, you know, four or five hours just to dry and harden up. But this is all Bondo did, the fender that was the bad one. So we're gonna let this dry for the night. It's getting dark, it's getting a little cold. So we're gonna call it a night for tonight and we will catch you guys back here in the morning. It's the next day, Dave and I are out here. I got a little bit of an early start before he got here. Uh, sanded down all the Bondo areas and actually the whole fenders themselves. It got a little cold last night, so the fiberglass mat on the backside uh, didn't have enough time to like harden, it wasn't warm enough. So it's a little bit tacky right now on the backside, but the kitty air on the front side is actually real strong and uh, hard right now. And actually when I was sanding down these fenders, I could feel like the structural strength of the fenders is actually a lot stronger, so that's awesome. Um, so we're just going to fill some low areas that we feel now. We're going to mark it with tape and then go back and fill them with a little bit of Bondo or Glaze to get those back up with the rest of the fenders. Uh, sand that down and then hopefully she'll be ready for a primer. <laughs> on here with a little bit of the dings all around and uh, we let that sit and now we're going to go ahead and start sanding it off and getting this whole fender all nice and smooth. <laughs> Alright guys, 
so it's about a day later and Dave and I are back. We finished body working the fender that had all the issues and now we're going to lay down some primer on this. We completely sanded it all down with 220. Um, we went through and put, cleaned it with acetone and a rag and then I used a tack cloth just to make sure we pulled everything off. But we're going to try to hit these main spots. Down below here where this rock guard is, we're going to put um, some bed liner, right Dave? The stuff that we use on your trunk yeah. initially. And then paint over it the color. We'll prime it first and then paint over it so that way if rock chips hit down there we don't have to worry about it. So we'll go ahead and get this started and uh, see what it looks like with primer on it. Alright guys, we just laid down the first, or it's probably, what, about the second coat maybe? Yeah. The second coat we just finished, God, I can't even remember. Just laid down the second coat, we're just going to let it, it's still tacky, we're going to let it dry, and then we'll go ahead and hit the spots that we didn't do, but this is definitely filling in a lot of those little scratches that we made with the sandpaper. We see a few areas we're going to have to hit with glaze once it's dried off and we 400 wet sand it all down, but this is looking great. A lot of holes that are getting filled in, and man, I'm real happy with it. Well, Ryan and I are waiting for the primer to dry on the fenders. We thought we'd come in here and uh, install these amber-colored United Pacific LED bulbs in the dash. Um, we got a, one of our subscribers commented on one of our videos, and he said he put red LED bulbs in his dash, and it looked killer. Um, but we're going with the orange theme with this truck, so we thought the amber would look pretty cool. Um, and we got some other stuff here as well. We also got the toggle extensions, and they have the like the, the amber, amber clip up top or the yeah, amber the, jewel. Uh, yeah, the jewel up top. So we're gonna th throw these on too. But as you can see, the dash. I mean, it looks actually really cool. Flip all the lights off so yeah. they can kind of see what. I'm gonna flip that one off up there. That one's alright up there. We can... You can definitely see the difference. Yeah. It's a huge noticeable difference. Yeah. So like. And they're definitely pretty bright too. What is that? Just a normal incandescent? Yeah, compared to the normal, you know, regular bulbs. Like a yellowy hue to an orange. Being yeah. that the whole truck's going the orange theme, that's uh, that's and definitely it. the color to do. Yep. We even talked about maybe putting some lights up top of here, shining down as well. Yeah. Maybe some orange or lights underneath. Yeah, under definitely underneath we're gonna do. Yeah, the underneath there, some amber colored light or orange colored light. But and even under here, too, would look cool with some lights. Yeah, you know. So what else you got in this little goodie bag down here? Got the remainder switches. That switch to go right there with all the plate. different lights, backing mm -hmm. plate. Got we have the, the other ones flood. that we didn't put on. Bunk, um, ignition switch. Explained in the back video back there. Got the correct nuts that go around to replace all these black ones with the chrome ones. Mm -hmm. this. Some more little switch plates. Oh, here's a good one. Ashtray. Yep, down here. This one's all corroded. You can't. Let me see the flashlight. Yeah, let's take, let's take a look at it. This one's all corroded down there. It looks like and, crap. Yeah, so we're gonna replace it with. Well, the, we need one more. Yeah, we do need one and, more. We, and, 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 can't forget. Got to get a little naughty toggle switches on here as well. I know somebody commented in the comments that don't forget the toggles, so here's to you. We did not forget the toggles. Those were, we just had to go back and figure out which ones we wanted, and these are the ones we ended up going with. Dave and I are back here bright and early in the morning. We pulled the other fender out 
and pulled the problem fender in. We just laid our first coat, kind of just a, a little preliminary coat of uh, the self-etching primer on all the areas that we had to do a little bit of body work on. Down here where that big crack was looks awesome. And we did for sure decide we're gonna do the body, uh, the, what is it, the bed liner? Yeah. On the bottom. So we, we touched up these areas, but we didn't do 100% because it's all gonna be covered with a real thick coat of bed liner, at least you know up to about right here. So, but the top parts, the areas that you're gonna see are definitely taken care of well. And this just looks great, just like the last fender. So let's go out, let's take a look at that other fender, the one we just pulled out. This one looks great. It's got a little water on it because it's sitting outside, but you can just see a lot of the, the problem spots are taken care of, uh, especially the front over here. That looks awesome. And then like we said right here with both fenders, we're gonna have a body liner or a bed liner about this far up and it's gonna be painted the same color just for stone chips. We don't have to worry about it. We're hoping the one in the garage right now that we're priming comes out just as good as this one. And if it does, then we're on to paint. So let's go back in, finish taking care of this one. Alright guys, Dave and I, we just finished laying the primer down on the, the bad fenders, but the more we look at these, the more we just couldn't be happier with how they're coming out. We took our time, made sure the bodywork was filled in and feathered all out, and after laying this primer, they just look awesome. But you can see it's snowing here in Ohio, and I think we're supposed to get a little bit more snow tonight. So we're going to push these back in the garage, and I guess that's a wrap for today's video. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and drop a comment down below. We love reading through them and listening to what you guys have to say as you follow us along on this journey for this truck's build. So guys, I guess that's, that's going to be it, and we'll catch you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching.